Let's go put that biochar in the compost and we'll turn that compost. <laughs> Okay, so the perfect place for the eggshells entering your system is actually in the compost pile. Uh, the microbiological bacteria and activity is right through the roof there. The acids of those organisms are going to help break it down faster. One of the things with eggshells is if you have a calcium deficiency in your soil, don't expect a bunch of crushed eggshells to do anything right away. It's going to take a solid 2-3 years for it to break down. They break down very slowly. Uh, so for that reason, straight into the compost pile is the perfect place to put them. The second thing is, is if you want to get a soil test uh, to identify that you're low in calcium before you do this, or just uh, balance the amount that you put into your system. Because for some times, for some things, too much of a, a nutrient is just as bad as the deficiency. It'll block uptake and cation exchange of other um nutrients and you don't want to create a problem where you didn't have one before the last thing about um, eggshells is that it's a ton of calcium but fertilizers are often sold as cal mag calcium magnesium and if you have a deficiency in either it'll block the uptake of the other one and if you have an excess in either it'll impact the other one as well so um, if you have uh, if you're seeing calcium problems and you keep adding eggshells and eggshells and eggshells and over years you're not seeing any benefit, the problem could actually be that you have a magnesium deficiency and you can put all the calcium you want in your soil and it won't matter. It won't make a lick of difference. So uh, one good source of magnesium is Epsom salts. Now uh, that's magnesium sulfate. Now Epsom salts themselves are water soluble. So if you put a bunch of Epsom salts in your soil and it rains, it'll actually uptake it and wash it away. And then also they're a salt. So you don't want to use salts in your soil, literally salting the earth, if you don't need to. So what I always recommend is just a healthy balance. Don't go playing mad scientist and trying to figure all this stuff out. Toss a little bit of eggshells into your compost every once in a while. Mix it with good solid organic matter, manure compost, and you should be good. If you're seeing constant over time problems with calcium deficiency, get a soil test, figure out what your soil actually is. It's a good idea to do anyways, but don't just go playing chemist uh, when you don't understand what you're doing. Uh, especially with calcium, 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 you might just have no magnesium in your soil and you can add all the calcium you want, it won't do anything. Okay, so. I'm going to do two things now. I'm going to turn the compost pile. I'm going to show you guys how I turn my compost pile. Remember the goal of turning compost is you get the outside edge layer down to the bottom center. And that's where the activity is. That's where all the magic happens because that's where the microbiological life is protected from the outside elements. That's where they have the refuge to do their thing and multiply. And that's where the heat is the highest. And again, from 40 uh, Fahrenheit up to 150 Fahrenheit, as you get closer to 150, that's when the microbiological activity starts pumping out. So you want a hot compost if you can. It's going to be hard in the winter time, but it's still fine to add stuff to the compost pile now. It's not a big deal. Uh, but remember, the goal is the outside of the pile is dead. It's looking like it's not doing anything, but you'll notice over time your pile is shrinking down, and that's because all the stuff bottom center is turning into soil the outside looks like nothing's happening but it is you got to trust the process it is turning to soil so we're going to get that outside stuff back into the bottom 
while we're doing that, we're going to put our, our biochar, our biochar that we did last week. We're going to put that into the compost pile. We're going to stick these eggshells in there as well. Hopefully all that will spur a little bit of biological life in this little bit of a warm spell we have. If not, then come springtime, this thing will start pumping up. If you notice my pile, it's a lot of leafy stuff. That's on purpose. That's by design. Because the processes are kind of slowing down in the wintertime, I kind of maybe want to help them slow down and I want to keep it um, nice and aerobic and I don't want it being smelly. So I want nice big particles in there. I want lots of air inflow into the pile and I want to kind of put the brake on a little bit with the browns. In the springtime, I'm going to do some grass cuttings. I'm going to cut especially my clover areas where that'll fertilize everything around it. Uh, from the uh, the die off of the mycorrhizal bacteria that's inside the roots and then all that green is going to go in the compost pile and that's going to be just like setting a torch on that pile and it's just going to go poof and it's going to go it's going to motor and I'll keep it nice and damp and turned especially then but for now we're going to get this biochar in there we're going to put the eggshells in there and let's get going It's a little frozen. This is fresh compost. I mix that slurry of eggshells in here. We'll stick that right on the biochar.
So there we go, turn compost pile. Who needs a gym? Awesome. Okay, so that's it. That's how we put our biochar and our eggshells in our compost. We make thermophilic compost. We charge up the biochar with micro, uh, microbiological life. Uh, stay tuned, I'm gonna expand on the science behind this. Um, if you're not interested, thanks for checking me out and I'll see you next time.